And if you were out there, you probably felt the heat outside causing some people at Trump's rally to need some medical attention. First responders tell us one person even went into cardiac arrest. Our Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer talked to people who braved the heat and those high temps, and, and they talked to officials as well about how to stay prepared. Early morning crowds vying for a front row seat to see the former president. A lot of people out here, crazy turnout. It didn't take much convincing to get Trump supporters here. The energy is getting real here. I'm very happy to be a part of this event. Not even sizzling temps. It was worth standing in the heat for. I'll do it again. First responders told us dozens fell ill, others passed out, standing for hours in the July heat. Rally goers like Marilyn Keene trying to cool down with umbrellas, handheld fans, and lots You're of water. Have a good day. Uh, thank you, ma'am. I just got overheated. I felt nausea, so I had to come in and cool off. A little tight, yeah. Police Chief Randall Beach says hundreds were treated for heat related issues at cooling and medic stations throughout the downtown area. What started at about six evolved uh, probably into 20 or 30 sort of mobile mobile units. Uh, the biggest thing was getting them out of the crowd, and a lot of the people didn't want to leave. Checking vital signs, providing water and giving people cold towels to help cool off. It's been really, really busy, uh, almost overwhelming. Officials say at least 30 people were transported for treatment. We had some heat emergencies, but yes, I've, I, I am aware that there was one cardiac arrest, but uh, that patient was transported with a pulse. And for many who stayed through the heat. Everybody I've talked to has been up, up, upbeat, even the people who were sick, uh, they're still happy about being here. Okay. In Pickens, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News.